What is going on folks, welcome back to another video. So today is Thursday the 8th of July. So as of today, we are three days out from comp. Um, and I finished my final session yesterday. So I'm just gonna sit and we're gonna have a little chat just about how I'm feeling, how the prep sort of went without giving too much away. And just a few other details. Um, I promise this will be the last video where I just sit on a couch and talk to you for a while because I know this will be like the third video in a row where I've done that but like I said I'm keeping all the lifting footage and all that stuff under wraps and you'll see on comp day what I can do but you know we'll get into this anyway so how am I feeling? Um, I'm very calm to be honest like um, I think of with obviously doing the first one uh, last year you know when you don't really know what to expect and you haven't done one before it's really you know I know what to expect I'm very lucky that it's at Elysium gym again so even being in the same environment again um, helps um, and you know I just I feel ready I, I don't really feel any nerves um, I'm sure I will on the day uh, but it'll also be a lot of adrenaline too but I I know what I'm capable of and with powerlifting like if you've done everything right in the lead up, you've worked your arse off and, and put everything into it, like on the day the strength will either be there or it's not and it, to me in my head I almost think about it like it's not up to you in a way, like you've done all the work and you just have to see if it's there on the day um, and you know I believe it will be there on the day because I, like I said I've put all the work into it so I don't know, I, I just like I say feel quietly confident. I know you know, no matter what, <laughs> you know, as long as I make <laughs> some attempts, I'm going to blow my old total out of the water, but it's not just about doing that, it's about, you know, being the best that I can be, so I guess that does help, but, you know, I still want, I still have targets in my head that I want to hit, um, so, you know, like I said, some nerves will probably come, but as of right now, I'm just mentally probably in the best place I could be. In fact, the only thing that's stressing me out right now, is the fact that England went through last night and now in the final of the European Cup, which is on Sunday. And if they win that, I go down to London for 40. Oh, that's the only thing. Um, aside from that, yeah, the comp, everything's fine. So next thing is kind of like, so that was how I'm feeling mentally. How am I feeling physically? Physically, I feel really good. Um, no aches or anything like that. Like I just, especially when we covered the openers this week, I felt fantastic. And I think that really helps as well, like when you cover the openers um, in, the, in the lead up to the competition, like that's basically the first lifts out of the way, you know you can do them, so you just have to worry, worry about the temps two and three, um, and having that confidence with the lifts, like I say, really helps, and physically I felt great, um, and you know, throughout the lead up I'm very lucky there's been no real issue, so good with that. Generally, how has the prep been? The prep's been fantastic. It's hard for me to say how long this prep has actually been because in my mind, I, I mentioned this in an Instagram post, I've been prepping for this competition in my own head since the last one. You know, straight after it, I was already preparing, I took a small like sort of break from total powerlifting training, then I was into my own prep for the Scottish Championships, which didn't go ahead, then lockdown happened and, you know, throughout COVID, I bought loads of kit for the garage, spent a lot of money when I was at my mum's and, and, you know, trained throughout it, I was still thinking, you know, because you didn't know how long this was going to last, I was like, gotta be ready, gotta be ready. So for me, it, you know, I, I've been thinking about this and preparing for this for ages, but I don't, and I don't, so I don't really know how long this prep has actually been, but let's say it was like 12 weeks or whatever, it's been, it's been excellent, you know, hitting PBs on the way up, um, exactly what you want, and yeah, you know, Martin, who I've been working with for, since I think, November or December last year, whilst I was in Seville, um, has, has been absolutely excellent, you know, he's maybe the strongest I've ever been, um, and he's been brilliant, um, and it, it couldn't have gone any better, um, and like I said, he's got me to the strongest I've ever been, and ready to go into this and smash it. So for the lead up to it, like I said, I um, finished my final session yesterday, so what am I doing in the sort of lead up? Um, basically, just complete rest. Um, not do anything strenuous, keep myself nice and calm, you know, it just, I'm not really thinking about it that much, like I know it's coming, I almost, I actually just want it, I wish it was tomorrow, I just want to do it, like I really just want to do it, 
because um, I'm, I'm so excited for it. But like I say, just relax, stay calm, try and be as stress free as possible. That's really what I'm going for. Um, luckily for weight, I'm absolutely fine. Like I weighed in this morning at 91.9 um, and I'm just fluctuating between like 91.5 and 92. So I'll probably wake up on the day. We weigh in at 12.30. So I will probably just not eat or I might have a little bit of water, but not much um, until after weigh-in, then I'll, I'll fuel up. So it's not like I'm worrying about making weight or anything. But main things are just making sure I keep eating well, make sure I'm sleeping really well. I've been sleeping fantastic, I have to say. Um, like, I've been having some really good deep sleeps and I can feel it. I can feel that difference. So really trying to just keep that going so I'm the most recovered I can be. The other little thing I'm doing um, is caffeine. So I'm basically taking caffeine completely out until I'm on uh, the comp day so that when I have some, it's you know I'll be more sensitive. This is a decaf coffee. So I'm just having a decaf coffee in the morning just because I still like the taste of coffee. It's kind of like part of my routine. So yeah, um, reducing that so that when I do have some caffeine, um, it will be more sensitive and I'll be really buzzed and it'll help with the lifting. So as I said, the weigh-in's at 12.30. I am in the second flight and I'm in group B of the second flight. So I'll probably be there like lifting till the latest. Um, there will be a live stream. Uh, so I'll be getting the live stream posted on my social medias, um, Instagram and Facebook. So I'd recommend if you want to see that, um, just make sure to follow me on those. Um, I'll also be putting on my personal Facebook as well, just so all my family and friends can watch should they want to tune in. Obviously, I'm in the same um, group as the guy I'm competing against, Felix. Um, and I know I spoke about that before. I literally made a video on it, but I'm not. I'm not really thinking about him to be honest. I think with powerlifting, I really just view it as like if I go and do the best that I can, and I nail my comp, and I, you know, smash my goals, and it means I don't win, then you know that's it. I do want to win, but I mean it's a small comp, and. In my head now, this comp is like, I want to get done and out of the way because it's a stopgap onto bigger and better things. I'm going to talk about sort of the next things I'm doing after this competition in, a, in the video after it. Um, I'll talk about that or probably the video itself. Uh, but like I say, it's kind of like a step onto bigger and better things. So that's that's what I would, you know, I just want to do it and do my best and wherever I, I'm like, I can only finish first or second so basically win or lose but I'm not really I'm not worried about that I'm just going to do my best and like I said I'm confident I'm quietly confident about my ability so we'll just wait and see well the final thing I should talk about is the sobriety I guess you should say so by the end of the comp I won't have, a, have had a drink for about five and a half weeks um, to be honest I, I think I'll just save that for a separate video and talk about how that's affected me how that's helped obviously it has helped not having alcohol involved definitely has up leveled my performance and um, I'll talk more about how it's kind of impacted my lifestyle, the thoughts on it, while I keep doing it, things like that in a separate video. But obviously that has helped my performance. But right, I guess to summarise, I'm confident, I'm ready, I still have to show up on the day and fucking do it, which I will. And um, yeah, I'm ready to dance. So I guess the next time I'll see you guys, it will be on the platform. Hope you enjoyed this. Like I say, last one on the phone. Just sit on the couch chatting for a while. Um, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's go. See you in the next one.